Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit hungover, so um, my brain's not exactly working as great as it usually does. Not that my brain's great anyway. Um, today we have the Champions League group stage. I've got some transfers to keep you up to date with. And uh, we'll be playing the two Champions League games. Uh, for some reason, we're seeded third again. So I don't know whether we've taken a bit of a drop when it comes to the... Um, what you call it, the coefficients, but, you know, hey-ho. Well, um, I think I'd prefer it this way. So, But then again, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's going to be difficult no matter what, isn't it? So, let's draw away until we're up to get Drew. Um, right, I'll take A as I into the other tough team. I think Leverkusen, maybe we can do have a go against them. Um, Ajax we can have a go at. I'll take C. I want to avoid H. Uh, avoid F. Oh, and G. Oh, God, let's just see. Shakhtar. CSKA Moscow. Rangers. Monaco, Atletico Madrid. Okay. And the fourth? Dynamo. Right. Okay. That's an interesting group. Let's just have a quick look. Let's take a second. Have a look, see how Atletico's been doing. Consistently second or third. So, where you'd expect them, to be honest with you. Um, they've got Lukaku. Their key player is still Griezmann. He's, sure, he's getting on a little bit. He's 34, but bloody how he's still good. Jesus, no way. So, um, that's Athlet Ath Atletico, not Af. I got told off when I did my Atletico save. Uh, Monaco, as be expected, consistently second. They've had a fourth in there. They've won it for ooh, one, two, three. Yeah, they've won it for the last four years. Their key player is uh, Cabrera. Oh, 19 finishing. No, oh God, no. We're going to have to kick him, aren't we? Let's have a look at their hot prospect just to see if we can snipe him. We've already got him scouted a little bit. And it doesn't look that great, so hey ho. Anyway, yeah, that is the um, Champions League. That's interesting. So let's go on to the transfers. There's a lot. There, I'm warning you now. There's a lot, and there's a reason for it. So <clears throat> outs. Um, Neil Etheridge left on a free. A load of youngsters left. Uh, ran a fair few on loan. The big ones. Andre Silva. Um. We, me and Andre Silva, we had a chat. We had agreed twenty-five million, and he wanted Arsenal. Um, he accepted that. We were like, "Yep, yeah, cool." But I found a goalkeeper, and he's just as good. I think I mentioned it last episode. So I took took away five million, and um, he's gone. It is a shout. I didn't want him to go, but he Arsenal kept coming in with bids, and he kept kicking off. And um, he was a great goalkeeper for us, he really was. But, you know, if you if he's going to keep kicking off, then so be it. I didn't even check. I clicked on that to see how much we... We got him on the free as well. So, he served with us for four years and off he went to Arsenal. Um, enjoy your career, mate. Dembele, as you know, went to uh, Freiburg, 10.25 million. Let's have a... Bloody bikes, man. He's a... Uh, Let's see how he's doing so far. He's played two games, one assist, average rating of 6.45. How do you get an average rating of 6.45 when you've got an assist in a game? It must have been really bad. Good luck with him, Freiburg. Enjoy. Um, Alberto Bengo's gone on loan. Um, we've loaned a couple of players that you won't recognise because we've brought them in and they haven't got work permits, but they're that good that I'm willing to wait. They will be playing for their, their country soon and I cannot wait until I, they start playing and we get a work permit. Um, we got rid of a few bits of dead wood. Um, Callum Griffin went to Southampton for one million. Didn't really need him. Um, so, yeah. And um, the big, another big, a couple of big ones. Now, Yanazai, he's he wasn't really getting in the team. Uh, he's 30... We paid 6.5 million for him, but he just, 
you know, it, one of them. And we just took what we could. So 1.4 million, he's gone. It's 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 less off the wage budget. It is a cut and it hurts a little bit, but you know we've got Douglas Costa. We don't need Yanazai. And here we go, Motta. Now this one really wound me up. Same with Dembele and Avramides. Naturally, I didn't want him to go. Uh, he was our captain. We were very happy with him. Um, he played well. And then who was it? I think it was um, Barcelona coming for him. Um, offered five million. I was like, nah, not gonna happen, mate. Uh, go away. Mark kicks off. I I have a talk with him. I'm just like, you know, sort it out. He kicked off again, so I took the captaincy away from him. Everybody kicked off. You're treating him unfairly. I'm sorry, but our captain of all people should be the most professional. So yeah, and then he kept kicking off. He kept kicking off, and I ended up signing him to um. Glad back. So, didn't even go to Barcelona in the end. I wanted at least 25, 30 million, but he kicked off so badly. And in one of the games, you could see him throwing it. I swear to God, it was like match fixing stuff. I, it, yeah. So, I just sold him 13 million. Um, now, the ins. We haven't spent as much money. As you can see, we've bought in 47 mil. We've spent 19. We've got a lot of free transfers. So, let's go through this. Let's go through the free transfers, firstly. Uh, Christian Lopez, very, very good player. I like this guy. He's 20 years old, Argentinian. Um, he has a work permit and is playing very well. Um, as you can see, average rating of 7.5. Um, the stats that you want from him as an advanced playmaker aren't too bad. He's got room to grow. I'm kind of hoping he grows in his uh, technique and his passing because I wouldn't mind getting that up to about 17. But he's got good determination. His work rate could do a bit of work, but he's he's all right. He's an all-round decent player. Um, only valued at 1 million, but oh, I think he's worth more than that. I really do. Um, this guy is Zuccari. We haven't got a uh, Zuccaro, sorry. We haven't got a work permit for him. He is Argentinian, so I don't know whether he's going to get into the team. Um he may end up being, let's make a bit of money. We got him on a free. He's at Seattle at the moment. But his stats are pretty good. Um, plenty of room to grow. Uh, plenty of room. But, you know, he's professional. He's, he's consistent, which is always good. And I hope we end up uh, getting a permit for him. I really do. But we'll see about that one. Uh, we then got Dan Butler on a free from Chelsea. Um... Again, we're playing this guy in the middle. Um, he's a good player. He has his stats, the lowest stats that you need for like the deep line playmaker. Let's have a look at the advanced playmaker. 14 is the lowest. And he's a good player. We got him on a free. He's worth 7.75 million. He's only on 14k, which is lovely. And he's an Englishman, so no work permit issues. You know, plays one twos, knocks ball past opponent. I like him. I do like him. He will be a backup-ish, um, but he's going to be a great player. Um, Kramer. I think it's Kramer. I don't know. Uh, Portuguese. He doesn't look as good, but what attracted me to him is his decisions, 19. Vision, 17. Passing, 17. Technique, 18. So he might not be quick, but he just sits back and passes that ball Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. And um, worst case scenario is, he's worth 7.75 million. We got him on a free. He's playing very well. And uh, I am happy at the moment. Now, let's go to a name you will know, you, you should know, if you're into football, which is why you're watching this. Lucas Moura. We haven't been playing him on the wing. We've been playing him in the centre. Um, he is a backup. Uh, 36 caps for Brazil now, so, you know, he's consistent there. Um, I just needed somebody with Douglas Costa who could come on and make... I, I think, n not a 90%, but 20% of our issue last year, especially in the Champions League, was we've got too many young players, no experience. So with Douglas Costa and Lucas Moura, I believe they can like 
they can change the game, and they've proven that already during the friendlies and other games. Um, his stats are still pretty good. He, he can't jump, but you know, don't need him to. And he he is pretty bloody good, especially for a free. Uh, once again, as I said, free transfer. Again, playing very very well. Um, this guy, Rech Reach, um, he hasn't got a work permit. He's Argentinian. Again, I don't know whether he's going to get a work permit, but I would love to see him get one just so I can see like if he if he can be as good as Zachwood and Jack McPhee. Um, I just grabbed him really because he was on a free. He's got some decent stats. Um, worst case scenario is we make some money off him because we need money. Um, this guy, I'm very very excited by this guy. Right, I'm going to try and say his name once. He's actually got a fractured cheekbone at the moment. Once only, and then we'll see. Right, Chaplinski. Chaplinski. That's probably right, because C and Z is like Czech. So Chaplinski. If there's any Polish watching, let me know. Um, yeah, look at his stats. Look at his very very good striker he's you know he's not you know Gurbeni or Avramidi's good but he is good and he has room to grow he can become that Avramidi's uh, player problems with injuries we have to keep an eye on that but he didn't get a uh, work permit he's played for Poland once hopefully we can uh, get him, watch him play. Once he plays a couple of times, I'll get that work permit on him. Okay, so that's all the frees. Let's see who we spent some money on. We'll go firstly with Kieran Freeman. Overpaid. There's no two ways around this one. Overpaid. But I wanted somebody who could, who was very strong on the right. Um, Sterling likes a red card. And he's a bit fiery and he's... I don't think he's as good as, as he can be. Um, this guy's been consistent for West Brom. He's Scottish as well, so he's come back home. And um, I like him. I like him. Um, the t stats that you do want are there. Uh, we have been playing wing-backs, and he's not the best crosser of the ball. But he's fast. His acceleration 17. Um, his pace 15. So he is a good player. We're going to work on his crossing. And... Um, I'm looking forward to see if he can change games for us. And here we go. Hugo Rojas. I, another player I really like. Um, I've been playing. I've changed up the formation. Like I said I was going to. I'm playing. The, I've changed the formation to the players. And come up with the formation that we've used before. You'll see it in a minute. But we are playing a deep line playmaker. And this is our guy. Other than his, you know, his composure's not great, but, you know, it's still pretty, it's alright, it's average, um, his passing's 15, first touch 14, technique 15, he's been playing well, 7.07, um, as the deep line playmaker, he's not as involved as maybe he would like to be, but he's got room to grow, and I can see him becoming a very good player, um, we spent 6.75 million on him, he's already... You know, it's going up to 8.5. Uh, I can't remember if it's... No, not a clue. But, you know, he's a good player. So, I'm very happy with this. And, um, like I said, with the silver going, we brought in Diego Abit. Um, another Argentinian. Um, the only difference between the silver and Abit is communication. Communication isn't as great. Um, other than that, they are almost, see if I can still c compare with, here we go. So, other than that, so there's the communication. Andre Silva's better at talking. But, you know, a physical, only one different speed, same. Mental, the same. Aerial, the same. Distribution, one difference. Shot stopping, he uh, beats one better, but again, one difference. And the stats, stats are very similar. So I was very happy to get him in. 4.5 million, which would just mean... That's why I was so willing to only take 20 for the silver. And things are looking good. So let's go on to the league. And 
Boom. Three games, three wins. It's only the three games, but we're winning games. Um, right, we've had um, Kilmarnock, we won 3-0. McVitie, Lucas Mora and Kramer getting those goals. Uh, we then had the Betfred Cup second round. We rotated and Caesar Quinn got two penalties. Penalties and scored them both. They're scoring penalties. What more do you want, eh? Football manager complete. Um, then we played St Mirren. Uh, Zach Rudden got himself a brace and uh, Sterling got himself an own goal. I honestly thought this was going to be a nightmare of a game. After three minutes that Sterling own goal, it was just one of those where you go, that's not possible. And uh, yeah, but we managed to claw it back and win the game. Um Sterling red card, like I said, he's had a couple over the last couple of seasons, and I've, it, the fact that I've noticed it says that maybe he's a bit of a hothead. Um, but we beat St Johnson three one, Zach Wood and Nori and Christian Lopez getting themselves one. So um, yeah, let's just skip along to see who, because obviously I've got games to play, and uh, today will be the Champions League games. Uh, let's just see who we will be playing. And uh, and when? Right, so, Atletico Madrid and Monaco will be today. So, the two tough ones. Oh, God, I might have to go get my Zach Rudden shirt on. Um, I'm going to go, I'm gonna play the Morton and Hibs game, and I'll see you back in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a change of shirt. I feel like I need it for these two games. They're going to be very, very tough games. Um, the two games that you missed were Morton, where we won 5-1. Five, uh, five different goal scorers, which is uh, interesting. None of them strikers. Um, Christian Lopez, Kramer, Tom Woolley, Barry Mackay and uh, Nori getting goals. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking I need to get Barry Mackay some games. Um, I want to keep him around. Every season he keeps coming to me saying I've done everything I can. I say, what can I do to keep you here? And he says, win, win a cup, which we usually do anyway. So I'm trying to make him a little bit happier, give him a few games here and there. Um, we then played Hibs and got battered 3-0. It, it was the B team, um, but their goals were just, yeah, nothing the keeper could do about it. Sterling and Christie had terrible games, and um, they just ripped us apart on the wings. As simple as that, they, they did brilliantly. We still sit first, two points clear. Hibs are joint second with Partick Thistle. Um, so they've had a good start to the season. Who did they lose against? Partick Thistle. Um, Partick Thistle lost to Morton. Weird. Um, anyway, let's uh, get straight into this game. Atletico Madrid's the first one. Um, the team today, a beat in goal. Freeman, Vega, Cook and Borthwick Jackson is the back line. Lopez, Rojas... Uh, Nori, McVitie and Kramer just ahead and Rudden on his own. That's right, we have the Christmas tree back. Uh, we are control fluid, um, low tempo, close down sometimes, shorter passing, exploit the flanks, uh, exploit the middle and be more expressive. So, and literally trying to dictate the tempo, short little ticky tack of football. Um, we've got the players for it and they work very well. Together, Kramer, uh, Rojas and Lopez have blended in fantastically, better than I even thought they were going to. Um, so, I'm happy. Um, as you can say, see here, we've got the deep line playmaker now. No ball winning midfielder. Uh, Jack Thompson will be sat on the bench. So, and we're training him as the deep line playmaker. He's capable of it. Um, he's not great, but, you know... Um, I like Jack Thompson, and he's he'll be he'll do fine as a backup, even as a deep line playmaker. Anyway, it's enough talking. This episode is probably going on a little bit, so let's uh, get into this game. They've got Lukaku and uh, Nagard up front, Griezmann on the left, uh, Zimmerman on the right. I believe the rest are all no no one else screams at me, but a basic four four two, and uh, hmm. It looks like Griezmann's sat back a bit, Zimmerman's up a bit. So they're going. To, I think they're going to try and maybe exploit this, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Let's. Uh, we are at home, so this is a big chance for us. 
we don't need our goalkeeper switching off. None of that. Uh, tell them I've got faith. Come on, boys. Uh, Freeman and Borthwick Jackson have just come back from injuries, but we need them on the pitch, uh, especially after Christie and Christie's poor game and uh, Sterling, who's not even on the bench. We've got Schmitz on the bench. Um, so they're on. They they may only play six, play sixty. They I might force them through the whole game, um, but it needs to be done. And we're already at half hour here. I, honestly, I will take a ball nil nil. I really will. Borfoot Jackson Kramer can't collect that. It's hoofed up towards Lukaku. Cook clears Kramer. McVitie, go on Kramer. We're dictating play like a, just like I want us to do, but Lukaku, Lukaku takes that. Borfoot Jackson, Nori hoofs it towards Rudden. Can he put it away? No, he can't. Monaco have taken the lead, the lead, which you'd expect. McVitie with the corner. Rojas can't get onto it. Nori to Freeman. Okay, it's the end of the highlight. Zach Rudden's injured. Jesus. Right, that means Lucas Moura will, will, will come up as the... Uh, striker he's not proficient in it but we've we've got so many injuries at the moment that we've got no choice really um let's have a quick look to see how he works as a poacher he's finishing 12 but his first touch is good yeah he'll be fine i've got no worries about that um so it, sometimes the little green circle lies it does it, just because he's not completely comfortable in there doesn't mean he's not good there and uh, Norrie with the free kick, it's hit the post. Atletico have only had one shot. We've got possession, we've had all the shots. I don't like that we've had a clear-cut chance and three half chances and we haven't seen anything other than a post being hit. Kramer's on the 6.6, .6. I'm going to give him to 60 minutes. And then Douglas Costa can come on, maybe to change the, games, uh, the game. I'm going to say... Give, do it for the fans. Come on, boys. Do it for the fans. And let's uh, see if we can drag something. A point here would probably be a good result. Um, I'll, you know, we are at home, but I'll take the point. Uh, any points we can get will help. We are hitting 60, and Kramer's still not up to his rating a bit. Brandon Cook is knackered. Uh, Matt Devi can come on for him. He's on the 7, though. No, we can't have a tired centre defender. And uh, let's see if Douglas Costa can change this game. Three subs, 60 minutes gone. This could be dangerous if we get an injury. But let's see. Come on. It's ticking down very slowly. Here we go. Right, now we're into it. And uh, I haven't seen Monaco score, but they are still in the lead. Oh, no, Griezmann. Rojas tackles. That's beautiful. Lucas Moura, go on, pass it. Now he's tackled Zimmerman. Who's keeping him onside? Freeman, what are you doing? Why, why? Why were you keeping him onside? That was terrible. Jesus. And they're starting to pile on the pressure. Oh, Pereira. He's going to knock this out wide, isn't he? No, yes, he is. Zimmerman, back to Pereira. No, Luis. Oh, it's in. a beat. Couldn't get it out. And that's 1 0 to Atletico. That's a shame. We've played really well. Uh, we've done. I can't fault the team here. I can't fault it. We've got. Oh God. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, we are dominating play. We haven't put away our chances, and that that's hurting us at the moment. Let's go attacking for the last ten minutes, and let's uh, passionately tell them to push forward. Let's see if we can get something last second here. That's a shame. Ah, oh, Griezmann. Oh, I beat with the save. That's beautiful. I thought that was going to be 2-0. Mad V kicks it out of play. Oh, I don't like this. I don't know. It's Things are going better in the Scottish League, in the, in the league, which is obviously all good. Monaco 2-0 up now. Uh, this Champions League group, once again, is very, very tough. Um, it's not rail and inter tough, but it is very strong team. And um, if we can get something out of Monaco or Madrid in either of the games, um, we may have a chance of clutching second. 
But uh, we're going to finish this game with an offside, Lucas Moura. And Atletico, they've got lucky, to be fair. Um, we we wasn't clinical. Unlucky, boys. Uh, maybe Zach Rudden was on 6.5 anyway, but, but Rudden getting injured. Potential knee injury. Oh, God, no. Um, that might have killed us off. Let's have a look at Zach Rudden. He's had to fight for seven weeks. Ah, oh, kill me. So, um, yeah, he won't be playing for a while now. I'm going to play the Celtic, Aberdeen and Hamilton games. And I will see you back when we go over to France. See you in a second. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. I've got one thing to say. The B team are crap. Um, obviously, it's just the way it is. We need to rotate for these uh, Champions League games. But the B team can't play. Um we, we beat Celtic 2-0. Uh, I kept the first team out and they did very well. Um, Greg McVitie and Tim Penfold getting an 89th minute goal just to make sure. Uh, that was away as well, so very happy with that. I then rotated. Um, Aberdeen beat us 1-0. Hey-ho. Uh, Betfred Cup quarter-final. No treble, but what are you going to do? Um, we then played Hamilton and... Uh, we drew 1-1. One, one. Uh, we were at home. Again, rotated the side. And uh, James Smith scored himself a screamer. And then got all bitchy when I said, well done. Whatever. Um, but I'll take the draw. We still sit top of the league. We're three points clear. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Considering last season, I am very happy. We have Monaco. We're in France. It's going to be a tough game. The team, we've got, uh, like, Sterling's injured. Rudden is still injured, of course. Uh, so we've got Freeman in, Vega, Woolley, Borthwick Jackson, Kramer, Rojas and Nori, Lopez, McVitie and Penfold. I'm still playing around with who should be further up and who should be lower down, you know, lower back. Um, morale's not that great because of the loss and the draw, but... You know, hey ho. Um, let's just get straight into it. There's, there's nothing I can say or do now that's going to change anything. We have got Tim Penfold uh, lacking much. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, we've got Tim Penfold up front because Jack McPhee just isn't doing anything on his own. Um, I'm considering selling him. I, uh, I don't think he's right for this team, and I think I can get ten million for him. And if that is the case, then I can get... Did I just see Gabriel? He's... Jesus. Is that seriously who I just saw? I did. Jesus. Hey, get it? Uh, Lamar. Okay. Uh, Cabrera. Mendy on the left. I looked at him. He was too expensive. Okay, so they've got a tough team, of course. Um... Let's get straight into it. Let's just go. It's, uh, fingers crossed we can get something out of this. A draw would be lovely considering it is a way. And uh, maybe we can get something at home. But I'm thinking third again, you know, guys and girls. I really do. I, f I think we're going to have to settle for third again. It's, uh, it's a reality we may have to come to terms with. Maybe we should just... Uh, Concentrate on Euro Cup, not the Champions League. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. At the moment, uh, it's very even, but he, Gabriel Jesus comes in and hoofs it into the net. And that's 1-0 to Monaco. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, God. I don't... I don't know what to do. These teams that just keep getting better and better. And... During the transfer, you know, when I was getting doing my transfers, I had about six players who got rejected work permits. Um, either their country wasn't good enough, or they didn't play enough, or and they were all four, five star players. They, and the stats match; they were brilliant. But you know, I'm not going to spend seven million on a player that I can't. I'm going to have to loan out Mendy to. Uh, I'm not even going to try his name, Mendy again. Come on, close him down. I think I'm going to have to put close down more on. But it is... Oh, for God's sake, it's 2-0. That was unfortunate for Tom Woolley. 
Um, I think I'm going to go full backs attack instead of wing backs. Maybe they'll stay back a little bit more. Um, let's speed up the play a little bit and close down more. And let's mix up the passing a little bit. Let's see if that can do do anything. Tom Willey own goal. That was just unlucky for him. Uh, it was hoofed at him pretty bloody hard. And the d deflection. Lamar takes the shot. It was going wide. And uh, yeah. It, went, it hit his leg and then went through his legs into the net. 2-0 to Monaco. And uh, Atletico have been held by Dynamo. Ugh, could you imagine if we got fourth and we had no Euro? Jesus, Nori. Keeper collects it. Oh! Mendy pushed Penfold and we've got a penalty. Oh, come on, please. Please, score it. Just before half-time, Nori steps up. Yes, come on! Come on, Atletico Madrid have taken the lead. And we have given us our... Well, Mendy's given us a chance here. Oh, Nori hoofed that, hit it hard. The keeper did get a hand to it, but it wasn't enough. And it's Monaco 2, Rangers 1. That gives us a bit of a resurgence. So, come on, boys, we can do this. I have faith in all of you. You can you can push and you can... Do I bring on... Right, who's that? 6.6, .6, Lopez. Okay. Mora, I don't know what's going to happen in with it. Maybe it's because he's not playing, but we're going to put him and Douglas Costa on. Uh, do I take... No. We're going to put the old the old guys on. And uh, they're going to change the game. I'm, I'm telling you. They're going to change the game. Watch this. I hope. Right, we're going to do that. Attacking midfielder for uh, on attack for Douglas Costa. And Moore as the advanced playmaker attack. Let's go. Two subs at half time. The experience is on. This is why I, I brought in Moore. So, you know, as I said... the. All, I always go for youngsters, and I think that's a bit of an issue because they've got no experience. Um, they don't play that well against the big sides like Monaco. So let's see if they can actually uh, prove me right and uh, make some sort of change in this game. Freeman with the tackle, who's it to Penfold, who doesn't get it, and Douglas Costa gets himself a yellow cut. Douglas Costa definitely changed the game. Why? Why? Why would you do that? I'm tempted to go to up front and start hoofing it. And can play false nine. How well does he play false nine? Oh. This stuff just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use him as a false nine, so I'll be a, a bit a bit further down the field. But I am going to start. Let's slow the tempo down now and close down less. We can't afford to... We're going to go structured as well. We can't afford to be all over the place. Douglas Costa's going to get a fine for that, that's for sure. Gives us a little bit of hope at the end of half-time, and then takes it away. I need a haircut again. My hair's a state, look at it. Oh, Nori with the free kick, come on. Oh, I was hoping for another penalty. Freeman, Vega, Rojas. Hoofs it forward, and uh, Herkins... Takes it, passes it out to defence. Bernardo running at us. Nori takes it off him. It's a long highlight this one. Mora. Bernardo tries it. Penfold. Is it the post? Mora, you should have pounced on that. And maybe if you're a poacher, you would have. Freeman. Okay. Have we got any subs in us that can. James Smith, maybe. Vegas knackered. Penfold's just having a bad game. Well, not a bad game, but, you know, to my standards, it's a bad game. 
Let's take Kramer off. Put James Smith on. Advanced playmaker attack. See if he can score a screamer like he did last game. Oh, we're in the last 10 minutes. Attack. Attack. I know we're structured. It's a bit counterintuitive. But, you know, Bernardo's coming at us. So, hoofed massively wide. And... Losing our first two games in the Champions League definitely puts us in a really tight spot. Nori, Mendy knocks it away. The only thing we can really hope for now is either Monaco or Atletico win both their games. James Smith, Nori. We're coming to the end of the game. Rojas, Smith, Mora. Freeman, is, that was a poor pass by Mora. That wasn't Freeman's fault. And uh, I think this is just going to tick it down to the end of the game, isn't it? Yeah, passing it around nicely. They're keeping the ball away from us. They know we want it. Cabrera's going to come in straight out of beat. I don't know whether it's a beat or a BT. I, I don't know. But Vegas taking a knock. I've used all three subs. Sorry, mate. It's only a gash on your head. You're fine. And that kick will be will probably be the last one. More of it. This, I'm not even going to bother. There we go. Taking it off us. And that will be the whistle for the end of the game. 2-1. Douglas Costa, you're an idiot. Um, we again, we pegged them, but we just, we just didn't have. You, uh, we're just missing. We're still missing it. Uh, we need Benny back. We need Avramides back. Dembele, Solard. <laughs> I had such a good team. Oh, I had such a good squad. And uh, like I was saying, the only thing that could really save us now is either if Monaco or Atletico win both their games and we beat Dynamo twice and then we beat whoever, let's say Monaco lose both games against Atletico, we beat Dynamo twice, we would then need to beat Monaco. Um, I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do this. But... Uh, it's painful, and uh, hang on, it's a uh, bad tackle and justified, yes it was, <sighs> right, okay, um, yeah, that's it for me, obviously, Dynamo twice, so, you know, I've got a couple of games to play, but, double Dynamo, next episode, disappointing, um, we come close both, let's, let's look at the positives, both games were quite tough. Um, both games were very close. Maybe next time. But um, yeah, I'll see you all next episode if you decide to show up. Enjoy yourself, so take care.